Hey YouTube, today I'm outside of Bricktown on this desk with this mountain of books because in this episode we're looking at some Lego books. Hey guys and welcome to Brick Talk TV. Terry here and today we're going to be looking at some books aimed at Lego enthusiasts. When I refound Lego again after my Dark Age, if you don't know what a Dark Age is, please check out my other video uh, on Adult Fan A to Z and I'll put a card here. After building a few modulars, I was interested to read about building techniques and how others go about building models that aren't necessarily following Lego instructions uh, and are aimed at those building their own Lego city. So like most people, I headed to Amazon and stumbled upon these three books. I'll put a direct link in the description below to these books. Uh, the first one is the Lego Neighbourhood book, version 1, Build Your Own Town by Brian and Jason Lyles. Then there's the Lego Neighbourhood version 2 book by Brian and Jason Lyles. Both of these retail for around £15. Then there's the Lego Architecture book, which retails for around £20 by Alice Finch. The first two books I mentioned, the Lego Neighbourhood books by Brian and Jason Lyle, contain some good walkthrough and buildings that they um, have built in their own city. The books do include some instructions for cafes and for other buildings and you can download some instructions from their website. I found these books to be enjoyable for me starting my journey back into Lego but since I first purchased these books I've not really picked them back up. I had planned to build a few designs from the book, even printed out some of the instructions but actually I, once I got creating my own designs I actually didn't revisit the pages. So if you're interested in doing your own designs, then follow this card to find a, an episode introducing you to Studio and how you can do your own designs. But in terms of these books, um, I found the good segues back into Lego again. Um, throughout the books you can find, uh, let's take the second one, there are some nice illustrations using Lego minifigures with some in introductions. And then you've got some various different building styles that they cover in these books so you can get a feel and get some inspiration for your own designs. Uh, they even look at some of the things you might put inside your city like fountains and benches, things like that. Uh, and then at the back they've actually got a whole, um, the whole back page is, is about a list of uh, building materials that you need to build a couple of buildings. And uh, you know they put some quality um, instructions in the back there as well. Um, so you can download those instructions as well from the website and there's links in the book. Um, and both these books are, are good ways into looking at how you might design first a town and then how you might spread that out into a sort of a cityscape. And there might be some interesting buildings in there. I've noticed on a few uh, YouTube videos that some people have, have, particularly this soda building here, have included that in their building. So I'm sure there's a strong um, following of these books that have used some of these um, building techniques and built some of these buildings. Uh, but for me, I was going to, but then once I got going with my own creative juices, I kind of uh, haven't really looked back uh, into these. So I think these two books are good to grow some insight and knowledge on building approaches. So if you're one of those builders that likes to follow instructions rather than designing your own designs, then these books probably provide some non-Lego designs that you can build to be different from the mainstream of Lego enthusiasts and include in your city. The final book is The Lego Architecture by Alice Finch. So I find this book much more engaging um, and I keep continually referring back to it uh, as I build my own designs. Often I'll be stuck in a design and I want to think about a certain window design or a roof design and this book is neatly arranged into various building aspects with several different techniques outlined in each section. They provide a picture of the items and the design uh, along with the part numbers but they don't always tell you the build techniques or the step by step um, steps you need to go through to build it. Um, so you need to have a certain level of Lego mastery in order to uh, appreciate this book. But from my point of view, as someone that is happy to freestyle and design my own instructions, I find this book a treasure trove of new ideas and new techniques that I apply in my buildings. An example where the window designs are used in my Bricktown courthouse. I'll put a card here for those that want to watch that episode so you can see the approach. But in terms of the internal of the uh, of the book, it's a nice hardback book of good quality, uh, which probably is why it's around £20 to buy. But as you go through, it's sectioned off into um, different types of building techniques. So for instance, they've got techniques on grouted walls and how you could do that. Or maybe you want to do some um, lift arm walls and it gives you some techniques on how to use that and, and how you might want to um, construct that. 
Uh, and then so as I was going through this, you know, I wanted to look at different window frames that I could use in my builds as I'm going through. So I, I flick back to this, I flick through the book and I kind of see what windows might meet the design that I've got. And then from that I sort of try to mock it up in my uh, studio designer. So then I can figure out the, the parts that I need. Um, and there's all things from columns to roof techniques to, uh, to window frames, uh, to fences, to walls, to the uh, column designs and different sort of like square shafts that you might want to use, whether you're actually different types of parts you've not come across, or whether it's a combination of parts that you combine in order to get a certain technique. This book kind of has lots of different avenues and different things that can create, uh, create some sparks of um, creativity in your imagination. So I think um, this book is really good for those sort of people. So overall, um, I prefer this book. Um, but this is due to my personal preference. Um, I think those fans of Lego that want some alternative designs uh, and small design approaches will find um, the first two books useful, uh, but this book is probably intended for those that are starting to do their own designs, a bit more confident with the brick, um, and just want some inspiration uh, and some quick architectural techniques just to lift their own mock designs. So I think um, I definitely recommend that for the uh, people that are more on the mock creator's uh, experience with the brick scale, happy to go freestyle and confident for that book. And then these two books I think are really good for those that are starting to get back into Lego again, interested to build your own cities or towns, uh, maybe aren't too confident in freestyling a decent design on your own um, and want some instructions to follow but don't necessarily want to follow mainstream uh, Lego designs and want something a bit unusual and different in their city then these two books will probably be good resources for you uh, just to, to follow some things along and maybe even create some sparks of creativity to get your own confidence to go for a bit more freestyle and maybe you can progress to this architecture book in the future. If you found this review helpful hit the like button and be sure to hit the subscribe button below and turn the bell notification on to be uh, alerted of future videos and until then Stay safe and I'll see you next time.